Hi everyone, it's Rob at ASFC underscore chemistry on Twitter. Don't forget to send us a tweet for any feedback on these videos or any specific requests you have. What I'm going to give you here is a very short tutorial about how we convert a molecule drawn in full molecular glory into something that is skeletal. Now skeletal formula is something exclusive to organic chemistry and what it allows us to do is basically shorthand a long molecule like this into something that's a little bit easier to draw and to communicate with other people. It's really useful if you're actually trying to do any sort of word process chemistry as well because this can be a real faff to actually try and put into Word or into Publish or PowerPoint, anything like that. So first thing I'm going to do to give you a hand with this is I'm going to number my carbon chain like so. So you can see I've got five carbons in there. Now for skeletal, every end of every line and every bend in the line represents a carbon atom. So as soon as you pen touches the page, that's your first carbon, that's my carbon one. And then we do a zigzag pattern, so that would be carbon one to two, to three, to four, to five, just like that. So immediately now to make this really clear, I'm going to number out the seemingly simple zigzag that I've just drawn. Then I need to litter this with the functional groups I have in this above molecule. First thing is we can see a lot of hydrogens here, we don't need to show these all throughout the structure. That's the nice thing about skeletal. The next thing is, if we look at carbon 1, we've very clearly got a carboxylic acid group. Now it doesn't matter necessarily where you draw it around here, but it's nice to try and keep the pattern of the zigzag. So I'm going to show this carbonyl group, which is a C double bond O, like that, just going down, and I'm then going to put the OH just here. Now I've drawn another line, and that doesn't mean here at the end of this line, although we can't see it, that there's a carbon, because I've shown a different atom at the end of the line, so that's fine. Same with this double one just here. Now if we look here, between carbons 4 and 5, we've got a double bond. So we've got an unsaturated bond there. And the way we represent that over here is literally by showing two lines next to each other like that in the structure. No one's going to think it's anything else, so you don't have to worry. That is very clearly a double bond right at the end there between carbons 4 and 5. I hope that's a good example for you in how to convert something from full displayed molecular formula into skeletal. This is really important to learn for your exams because the examiner likes to give you structures like this as a way of hiding carbons that you might not recognise. Don't forget you can send us a tweet at ASFC underscore chemistry with any specific questions you have. Otherwise, I'll leave you to your revision and I hope you enjoy the rest of the AS Year 1 or Year 2 chemistry playlists.